Nikon 70 to 200 millimeter lens with a two times teleconverter on there. Uh, we're just getting some shots at low focus range and uh, infinity to five millimeter just to kind of see what we like the best and just trying to play with it a little bit. Um, I actually said Nikon, not Canon this time, so I kind of got it right. But shout out to Canon too because I love all my brands. All right, y'all, so we're shooting through things. I did a little bit of research and it says that um, with infinity to five millimeters, it's more so for the things that are farther. Um, and for the full range, it just captures anything that you have in your field of view. And so that's the importance of this little uh, switch back and forth. Of course, we have the automatic focus and the manual focus switch as well. I don't really shoot much in a manual, I mean, automatic focus because I just don't. Um, I like manual focus because I have the option of like just going between whatever I want to pick from and the camera has no ability to change the frame that I've already chosen. Um, and so, yeah, so far so good. It's definitely a hot day, but it feels great. Got some water in my hair. I can literally drink it and uh, I'm going to show you guys the final uh, images on the video that I post. So uh, check out that video and uh, I'll do side by sides for you guys to see which one uh, you like better. Ooh. All right, now we're on top of a building. We're gonna get some cool frames, best way that we can. Uh, this is amazing, man. Wow. I'm trying to drop the camera. So with the teleconverter on there, it takes it from a 70 to 200 millimeter lens to a 140 to 700 millimeter lens. Millimeters is literally like the length of the lens and how far you could reach something in objects. So on a ruler, it's like, if you got a five foot ruler or a one foot ruler, something like that, to try to make it make sense to you guys. 